was a chilly afternoon on January 25, 1974, in Santa Ana, California. It would turn even chillier at the Aladdin Apartments on West 17th Street, where the body of 27-year-old nurse Linda Louise Cummings was found naked and hung for dead in her apartment. A friend and apartment manager, Louis Wycheki, found the body after being notified by a concerned employer of Linda's that she didn't show up for work that morning. Louis Wycheki told investigators that she was a distraught and depressed woman. He said she would confide to him this information over long chats drinking coffee. The coroner quickly deemed it a suicide and the case was closed. Fast forward five weeks later and the police are back on the same location for an entirely different reason, the disappearance of 78-year-old Marion Camilla Morgan. Again, apartment manager Louis Wycheki was there to offer information and hand over a ransom letter found by him demanding $50,000 for Mrs. Morgan's return. It wasn't long before Officer Larry DeSantis made a grisly discovery. Adjacent to the Aladdin Apartments in a vacant field was the body of 78-year-old Marion Morgan. Wrapped up in a blanket by rope, she was murdered by strangulation. The drag marks of the body led right back to the Aladdin apartments. Eight hours later, Louis Wycheki was arrested. It didn't take much to convict him. Wycheki's wife confirmed that the blanket used to wrap Mrs. Morgan's body belonged to them, and the paper used to forge the ransom letter was discovered on the premises. He was sentenced to four years in prison. After sentencing, police exhumed the body of Linda Cummings to look for any connection that would link Louis Wycheki to her death. No conclusive evidence was found, and the case was closed. The only thing gained was that her death certificate changed from suicide to undetermined. Many people believed Linda Louise Cummings' death was not a suicide, but instead a homicide, including her stepmother who contacted a young Orange County Register staff writer by the name of Larry Wellborn. She was crying and she said, you know, my stepdaughter was murdered also, and she was also murdered by Louis Wycheck. He was on trial for killing Marion Morgan. Nobody will listen to me. Can you do something about it? Being the Pollyanna that I must have been in 1974, I went down to the coroner's office and, and asked to see their file, and there in the file was her driver's license. It was stapled to another card, and on the picture today, you'll see the staple marks. And I looked at the picture, and the picture, um, the photograph of Linda stared straight back into my eyes. I know it sounds weird, but it's almost like she was talking to me. Um, it was a penetrating stare. She wasn't smiling. She had these cat eye glasses on. She wasn't happy. And uh, the, the image was um, permanently etched in my mind from then until, until today. With one simple phone call, the story of Linda Cummings became Larry Wellborn's 31-year obsession. I started doing some reporting. I called Joe Stevens, who was the deputy county coroner, and I asked the DA, and I asked the public defender, and I went to the coroner's office. My first story uh, ran on uh, October 19, 1974. It says uh, murder probed in death of nurse. Um, and I, had, I didn't write another word for 31 years about this case. He decided to re-examine the evidence and start his own investigation. He talked with more than 60 people and traveled to three states, accumulating more than a thousand pages of documents, including death certificates, court transcripts, police reports, correspondence, and legal motions and opinions. This was not just a story for Wellborn, but a sole voice for Linda Cummings. Now would you say, take a look at this, you know, see what you think. I didn't say, I didn't say, uh, um, I think Linda was murdered and Louis Wycheck did. I said, just take a look at this. And everybody who took a look at the facts and the circumstances thought the same thing that I did, that something, uh, something bad happened here. In 1994, Wellborn made a discovery. 
With the help of investigators, he found information that Louis Wycheki had become David Louis Stanley and was remarried, living in Henderson, Nevada. Wellborn spent the next 10 years gathering further information and with the advances in DNA retrieval, convinced Santa Ana homicide and DA cold case investigators to exhume the body of Linda Cummings a second time. Wellborn could not let Linda rest. A year later, cold case detectives continued their investigations fueled by Wellborn's determination. On November 17, 2005, on a no-bail arrest warrant from Orange County, Henderson, Nevada police SWAT team stormed in and arrested David Lewis Stanley, or better known as Lewis Wycheki. logical that a man who was convicted of the murder of one woman murdered another by the same means. But without new evidence, Wellborn is unsure of the outcome. What he does know is that a voice was silenced 34 years ago, and it is his obligation for it to be heard. He remembers what started this obsession in the first place, a picture of a woman who died tragically too young. <laughs> 